Have you seen that video where uh, Popeye chicken, you know, Popeye chicken, and they run out of chicken, and all the people are bread. Silas, CEO of Black Cookie Records, um, chilling with Kush Magazine. The thing that made me start rapping was actually, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the artist Eminem. Right when he started coming out, he had a lot of battle raps and stuff. And me and my homeboys thought it would be a cool idea for us to, to have a party and you know, battle rap each other. So, you know, we were just some you know, 12 year olds. We were just messing around and uh, I ended up winning the tournament. So I was like, hey, I'm pretty good at this so I just kept with it and you know kept learning more things and it turned out that it was something I was, I was really into and it's like an undiscovered uh, talent of mine that I really enjoy. Black Hoodie Records, I established that in 2006. Me, and um, my brother, Sweets, my cousin Smoke, uh, my homeboy Izzy, my homeboy Twinkie, and my homeboy B Money. The face paint thing that I do is, um, I'm, I'm a little bit of Native American, so it shows like basically like they did war paint and stuff when they came to battle. That's why I wear army fatigues when I perform. I wear face paint. I used to rock a gold grill and that showed my love for hip hop. I wear blue and green hair and that showed my love for Michigan, from Michigan and Michigan State, repping where I'm from. So that's basically like my stage show. I also wear uh, autographed shoes, autographed by the big homie Tech 9 my favorite rapper. I got probably like five or six pairs of shoes autographed by him. So that's like, that's my whole little stage persona what I do. People ask me like, is it ICP? No, it's me. It's M-E. M-C-E-L-L-U-S. That's, that's what I do. Five Halloween mixtapes, three 420 mixtapes, three St. Patty's mixtapes. About 15 CDs in, and also two other CDs, uh, CHD, Money Maxwell CD, and the uh, M&B Boy CD. I did all those uh, in like about four years. My first four years producing so, about 16 CDs in, in uh, four years producing. See, we've been grinding so hard, my game is sharp as machetes, forever pulling whole cars. So I don't think that you're ready. Give me the beat in the track, and I'ma break it all down. Just like some scales and some sacks, with a couple of pounds. I will keep putting it down, I will keep repping my town. The hardest niggas around, with rhymes is coming in sounds. Calling my homeboys clowns, it's great cause some of us juggalos, but you mad at the rest. Because we laughing while fucking those niggas, nothing we didn't know. Push my oldest, but we didn't blow. Yeah, it's our time to blow. Most sellers will make it grow, this is lyrical. Miracles coming from individuals with the illness, so will the flow moving my you moving slow, nothing new to my bros Loyalty always shows and royalty is what we know These truths is what I know in the city I'm the king, so sell us a lance And keep the rowdy ones marching and the body ones dancing If you ain't with Black Hoodie, you ain't fucking with me Anybody could be Black Hoodie You could be repping Black Hoodie and not even know Black Hoodie My biggest dream, I would love to wake up every day Knowing I'm gonna meet thousands of people And be able to shake hands and greet everybody I know And showing my music and showing my talent and showing what I do and change people's lives through the music that I make. My biggest fear, I mean, I probably say I don't want to get AIDS, but uh, you know, I've been through a lot in my life already. I've already lost my father. Um, I've already, you know, I've been diagnosed with diabetes when I was 10 years old. I've already almost died like three or four times and been resuscitated. So, you know, I don't, I don't fear much, but the last thing I want to see is to lose anybody else that's close to me. That's, that's my real thing that I, I really don't like and I really do not want to see. I really don't see nothing wrong with it as long as it's like anything else you just got to be responsible with it you know I mean 
And it's, it's one of those things, like, it wouldn't be as bad if everybody didn't make it so bad. Mm-hmm. If everybody just smoked, like, look at Jamaica. You know, they, they just grow weed and everybody smoke and people come and chill and smoke out. Now, if the United States was like that, everybody wouldn't be going around robbing each other because everybody would have weed. Nobody would, nobody would care. You'd just smoke out with everybody else and everybody would have a good time. It wouldn't be all about robbing and stealing and making it illegal because they made it illegal. Mm-hmm. It's just a plant. I mean, come on. Really. It's not meth. It's not. It's not crack. You don't see people. Oh, I, I, I'm on, I'm high on weed, so I'm gonna break into your house and fucking steal all your shit. Oh, I'm I'm high off weed, so I'm gonna you know pawn off all the shit that I have. You know, shit. Pieds are happy for what they do have. They're gonna save everything they got. They're trying to live check to check. I mean, weed. You know, they can say it's a gateway drug, but I know plenty of people who just smoke weed, and and it's all the mother people who they told don't smoke weed, don't smoke weed. And they started, they are like, smoke weed? Oh, well, that's not good enough for me. Let me move on to the next thing. It's all about being responsible. You got to be mature in what you do. Don't be going around grandma's house all high, you know? I mean, chill out. Do what you got to do. Handle what you got to do. And then smoke. You know, get you a job before you start smoking. Have, pay, be able to pay for what you got. Don't be, getting, don't be getting your weed on front street. Get yourself a card, you know? Keep it legal. If, if they're doing it, if they're making it legal for us, just go ahead and get your card. And you have nothing to worry about. I mean, that's that's real talk for anybody. You should do what you got to do and be responsible with your smoking. What up? It's your boy M. Sellers, Black Hoodie Records. I'm repping that Kush Mag, thekushmag.com. Check it out.